Hi everyone, I hope that you had a nice holiday and a happy new year. What we are going to be doing today is we are going to be embedding a Facebook plugin called the Page Plugin onto your WordPress website. And this is what the final product is going to look like right here. So this allows visitors to your WordPress website to like the page and share the page. And if they're logged in, they can also see which one of their friends also likes the page. So in order to do this, we're going to go to the Facebook for Developers page, and I'll include this link in the video description. And we're going to go all the way to the top of the page. Under the Facebook page URL, you're going to replace this link with the Facebook page link for your own Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page already, you have to go and make one for your website. And if you do, just go to that Facebook page and copy the URL and just paste it right here. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do and customize with it. Um, if you wanted to, for example, you can type in timeline under the tabs here, and it'll actually show you on the website all of your recent posts. But that's just a little bit too much for me, so I just want the basic like the page and share the page. So once you've customized this and done whatever you want to do with it, click on Get Code and copy the first portion of code here, then go into your admin dashboard under appearance and then under widgets and you want to create a new text widget. So once you're in the widget section, you want to first find the default sidebar, or whatever sidebar appears on all your posts and pages, and you want to drag a text widget into that sidebar, as so. I have a lot of sidebars, so I'm going to drag it to my default sidebar. And now you're going to title it whatever you want. You can say, like us on Facebook. And you want to paste the first set of code right here. And then press enter a few times so that you give yourself some space. Go back to the Facebook developer website, copy the second bit of code, and paste it right below the first one. Once you've done that, it doesn't matter if you leave space or not, it's just to make it easier for you so you can see the difference. Click on Save. And once you've done that, you will have your very own page plugin on your WordPress website. So I hope this helped you out. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, I hope you have a really great day. Take care.